All right, Charlie Abrigo from the Gladys Porter Zoo is here with our zoo guest of the week that is just speechless. Uh, won't even close its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it was one of our off exhibit Philippine crocodiles and um, it was which was born there at the Gladys Porter Zoo and it's not used to being handled so uh, it's you know it just kind of it's just protecting itself it's fine it, it's totally fine it's, it's totally I think fine. it's one of its defense mechanisms yeah. also you learned its other defense mechanism why you have paper towels yeah, behind it's, you yeah it's peas <laughs> on you too so I was, luckily I was already you know sitting down and it was before we got on got on air so um, she already peed on me it's so I smell like crocodile pee all day it's fine. It's, it's totally fine. You but know, yeah, it's, it comes with the territory <laughs> working at a zoo. It comes with the territory, but I'm sure, you know, like you said, in the education department, uh, the center, the children just love to see the animals like this. It's, you got that up close and personal um, feeling and you learn more about them as well. Yeah, a lot of people have a misconception of, of, of a zoo. Of, it's just a place where we have animals, but it's, no, right. it's a lot more. It's a lot. Our, our focus is education and conservation. And we, you know, bring these animals that, you know, Personally, I would never see because I don't have enough money to travel the world. Yeah, you wouldn't see this. To, to nope. see, you know, and, and it kind of makes you a little bit more educated. And when you, when you see the kids, you know, light up with these animals, especially, you know, these exotic animals that they, they don't get to see. And also we have some local animals that yeah. you don't see unless you get out. And, and um, yeah. you know, they, you know there, there, there's like a little correlation between the kids being involved and being more um, concern for their environment exactly. and their surroundings when they know about these creatures at a, such a young age and they grow up to be these conservation leaders and that's you know something we strive for there at the zoo. Exactly definitely and we promise this is a real crocodile. Yeah it he, is. He's it's, not he's not moving. It was moving earlier. It, it was <laughs> as soon as I sat down he was not happy. Well you're dressed up Charlie yes. not as uh, dashing as you were last year you had the whole outfit I know. but you still dressed up for it us. Did. It's my mom's <laughs> fault she fed, fed me too much. It doesn't fit. <laughs> In a year. I know. <laughs> So I have my other, it's of course, we, you know, we're everyone in Brownsville, we're all um, set and ready for Charo Day, Sobrero yeah. Festival, um, the Mr. Amigo festivities. So we have a lot going on. And of course, everybody, if you drive around Brownsville, you'll see most people dressed up yes, you will. in costume um, in their outfits. And um, I have I had, another, had to have another one made because <laughs> it fits me now. And um, but no, it's great. And we have the parade going on tomorrow. The zoo, uh, we uh, we're already working on the float. Right. To come out on Friday and Saturday's parade. I won't be there Friday, but I'll be on the international parade on Saturday. So it'll there be a good go. time. Our uh, parade is going to be ocean themed. You can check it out the 24th and 25th. And then later after that, we have the Ocelot Conservation Day, March 4th. And um, so we have a lot of, lot of stuff going on. You, you have a lot yes. of stuff going on. And then tomorrow night, um, our chief meteorologist Brian Hale will be out there for the parade. So he'll be doing his weather live from there. And as Victoria's been saying, it's just going to be a warm one. So it's going to be a good day tomorrow. It's good. Last year was a little cold, so yeah. it's a little good change this year. Yeah, now we have those summer-like temperatures. Well, thank you so much, Charlie, well, for you. joining us. I I've been waiting for him to move. <laughs> I I'm glad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs>